Well, the next round of earnings from the financial industry, it's coming up later this morning, topping the list. Goldman Sachs, as well as Bank of America. Analysts have grown bearish about the big banks because of sluggish loan growth, as well as fixed income results. That's proven true at J.P. Morgan Chase, and it's the same uh, expected at Goldman Sachs. We bring in Courtney Dominguez of Payne Capital Management to kind of unpack what we've heard and what we expect to hear from some of the biggest banks in the country. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning, Lauren. Thanks uh, for having me. What do you make of the earnings we've seen thus far? What's, what's the bottom line to you, the message that's been received? Yeah, what's really interesting is we're seeing kind of the exact opposite we did last earnings season right now, where companies are not necessarily beating their earnings estimates. Both Citi and J.P. Morgan came out lower than we expected them, yet they continued to trade higher. What we're really seeing is investors and analysts aren't necessarily looking at last quarter, which is said and done. We know that last quarter wasn't going to be good, but we're really looking ahead to the year of 2019 and seeing what does the optimism levels look like and what are these companies forecasting, which so far has actually been really positive. And that's why we're seeing these things trade higher, despite the fact they're not getting the earnings that we would be anticipating. And higher interest rates are also pretty good for the banks, right? And they have the added benefit here because obviously... As a customer, you earn more when rates go up on your deposits, but many folks are just keeping their cash kind of in low, low yielding accounts. They're, they're not making moves to, to attract more return, at least not yet. And actually, yields are a really good point you bring up because this is a, a reason why it's actually a really good time to get invested right now. The 10 year Treasury is still at about 2.7 right now, which is actually still pr- historically pretty low. But you're getting much higher returns on the stock markets right now where they're yielding. Um, significantly higher than the 10-year treasury. A good example of that, you can look at like the Vanguard high dividend yield, which is a good um, divi- high dividend paying stocks. That's going to have names like JP Morgan, Johnson & Johnson. That's playing closer to 3.5% compared to the U.S. Treasury at only 27 So you're actually getting paid better by being in the markets right now than in sitting in cash or something like a 10-year treasury. Excellent point. All right, hear that, everybody? Invest in the stock market. Uh, at least that's what the trend has been since January 1. Let's talk about Goldman Sachs. You have this major 1MDB scandal criminal charges, civil charges against Goldman Sachs. Malaysia, the government, is looking for $7.5 billion from them. How does this play out? This is where it's really going to be important to see here how these earnings calls are going to go. We're going to get the data that's going to come out, and I don't think that's going to be nearly as important as hearing how they're going to deal with this going forward, what their outlook is going to be, and how they're going to handle it. And if they can give us some optimistic views that give us the ability to give them confidence and reinvest in there, then I think we can see this take off just like we did J.P. Morgan. We did City, who didn't beat their earnings either. So, yes, they have some bigger headlines here, but we really need to see the direction that they see us going. Courtney Dominguez, thank you for coming on this morning. Thanks for having me.